Good day, everyone. Today we will be discussing light, heat, and sound. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Light travels faster than sound. As you observed during stormy weather, you see a flash of light in the sky accompanied by a thunder. Lightning is an electrical discharge caused by imbalances between storm clouds and the ground, or within the clouds themselves. Light, heat, and sound travel in different ways. Many scientists have been studying the nature of light. Some say that light behaves like a wave. Other scientists say that light behaves like a group of particles. Light always travels in a straight line when going through a single medium, any substance through which a light wave can travel. On the other hand, sound waves travel and difference at different speeds through different media. As it travels, a sound wave is created in response to a vibration and how easily they move back to their original position. Heat travels by conduction, convection, and radiation. The transfer of heat through solid materials is called conduction. Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to another by the movement in fluids. Heat can also be transmitted across empty space or vacuum. This is called radiation. Radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. Radiant energy travels as waves through space. Let's do this! Prepare the materials listed below. You may ask the help of your parent or any adult members of the family if needed. Title of the experiment, How Does Light Travel? Get a flashlight and focus it at a distant wall. Observe the path of light. Block the path coming from the flashlight with a thick cardboard. Record your observation. Get the three boards. Make at least 2 inches the diameter hole in each board. Stand the board away from each other. Align the holes that the wall could be seen through the holes. Focus the flashlight through the first hole. Observe what happens. Misalign the board in the middle. Keep the light aimed at the boards. Observe what happens. Did the light form a straight line when you focus it on the wall or ceiling without blockage? Yes, the light formed a straight line when you focused it on the wall or ceiling without blockage. Wow! 
When you blocked the light with a thick cardboard, was it able to pass through it? Explain your answer. No, the light couldn't pass through the thick cardboard. The light was blocked by the board. When you aligned the cardboards with holes, was the light able to pass through it? Explain your answer. Yes, the light was able to pass through the aligned holes because no object is blocking the way of light. When one of the cardboards was not aligned with the other cardboards, was the light able to pass through the other cardboards? Why is this so? No, the light could not be able to pass through the other boards because the board is blocking the way of light. What can you say about the way light travels? The light always travels in a straight line. If a thick object is blocking the way of light, it will not be able to pass through it. Let's do this! Let us perform the activity. The title of the experiment is What is Vibration? Get a plastic ruler and hold it firmly. Push down the free end, then release it suddenly. Hold the ruler while it is still in motion. Observe what happens. What happened to the ruler when you suddenly released it? The ruler moves up and down. How do you describe the movement of the ruler? The ruler moves fast in an uptown motion and makes vibrations. Did you hear a sound? Yes. There is a sound coming from the moving ruler. Did the sound coming from the moving ruler suddenly stop when you held it? When have you released it again? Yes, when you held the moving ruler, the sound stopped. And when you release it again, there is no sound the ruler makes. Let's do this! Prepare the materials listed below. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the experiment is How the Sound Travel in Different Materials. Did you hear a sound when you tap the table or the chair with a stick? What happened to the sound when you tap the table with different strength? Yes, we can hear a sound when we tap the table or chair with a stick. 
The sound also became louder when we tapped the table with different strengths. Were you able to produce sound underwater when you struck hit two stones together? There is a no sound produced underwater when we struck or hit two stones together. Were you able to hear the sounds you produced underwater? No, I couldn't hear the sound produced under the water. Did the sound coming from the drum reach the person away from it? Yes, the sound from the drum reaches the person away from it. When we strike the drum in a different strength, the harder the strike, the louder the sound makes. What could you infer from this activity? Sound waves travel at different speeds through different media. The loudness of the sound is affected by how strong the force is exerted to create a sound. Let's do this! Prepare the materials listed below. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians of any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the experiment is How is Heat Transferred? Fill a mug with hot water. Place the metal spoon in the mug. Wait for about 5 minutes. Observe what happens. After 5 minutes, carefully fill the end of the seed spoon. Slightly touch the outside surface of the mug. Light the candle. Scoop margarine and put close to the head of the nail. Slowly bring the nail to the tip of the flame. Hold the nail in the flame until you observe a change. What happened to the margarine on the nail? The margarine on the nail became melted. Why do you think the change took place even if it, if it was not directly exposed to the flame? Nails are made from metal. Metals are good heat conductors. That is why the heat transferred to its body and melted the butter. If we are using a metal tong and continue to expose the nail to the flame, what do you think will happen to the metal tong? The tongue will also be heated because of the prolonged exposure to the flame. What happened to the exposed end of the spoon after 5 minutes? After 5 minutes, the spoon became hot.
What did you notice about the outside surface of the mug when you touched it? Why? The surface of the mug feels hot because of the high temperature of hot water. Suggest ways to reduce the effect of the heat on the turner so that we can avoid getting hurt when we lift it out of the hot pan. In handling a hot object, we need to be careful. We can use a dry cloth to hold the object, or right after we use a metal object to a high temperature object, remove it right away. Let's do this. Draw a picture how the following travels. A. Light, B. Sound, and C. Heat. Describe and label each illustration. Light always travels in a straight line when going through a single medium. Any substance through which a light wave can travel. A sound wave is created in response to a vibration and how easily they move back to their original position. Heat travels by conduction, convection, and radiation. Let's do this. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Light travels in a blank line when it passes through a single medium. A. Curve B. Straight C. Crook or D dotted. The correct answer is B. When the sound travels through solids, the vibration of the particles occurs. A. Fast B. Slowly C. Moderately or D. Irregularly the correct answer is A. What affects the speed of sound as it travels? A. Person receiving it. B. The origin of the sound. C. The nature of material. D. Loudness of the sound. The correct answer is C. How is heat transferred in solid materials? A. Through convection B. Through conduction C. Through radiation or D. Through vacuum The correct answer is B. What is the direction of the heat transfer? A. From hot to cold B. From cold to hot C. From bottom to top or D. From side to side The correct answer is A. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye!